We're ready to get back into map two. Back on the stream, of course, Royals taking the map pick of the Raptors. And it was pretty, you know, I'm going to call it very you know, back and forth, for most of it. A bit of a slip-up, I think, at the end, uh, to allow Royals to get that win. But Raptors, they were competitive. And, uh, you know, we spoke about this before the break. The problem was they didn't win any pistols at the yeah. end of the day. You know, when it came down to actually rifle and rifles, they were even maybe even a little bit, you know, advantaged. So... That has got to be the name of the game as we head into Overpass. If they can start out strong, get off on the right foot in this very round here, then Overpass could well be theirs. A third round could, a third map, sorry, could well be theirs. All they have to do is win out this. And uh, I was talking to some of the guys outside from both teams. They were catching a breath of fresh air. Um, apparently, both um, both Jayen and Palman are rocking way lower FPS than they're used to. So it's both of their star oppers having a bit of uh, the the land. Well, their, their, their equipment has the land flu. Mm. So uh, we're going to see the pistol rod starting up again. It's going to be Ping with the opener onto Igor. And again, a pistol rod not getting the greatest of starts for the Raptors. Look at Swaggy sneaking in. This is cheeky. Oh, yeah, no chance for that adaptation. Finn gets taken down. Three on five. Things going from bad to us very quickly now for Raptors EC. There's still a chance for this round. You know, the flashbang double kit on Palm 1 means that they can enable someone to go off, go huge. But so far, Royals have not really needed oh, wow. it. Oh, uh, yeah, Retco, lovely headshot onto Joy. Makes it winnable, but has to drop back and drops dead into the grave. Oscar, the one to put him there. It's not a great looking post bump by any means for Raptors DC, and they're going to have to consider exactly how they want to approach this. Not anymore as Palm dies. Yeah. <laughs> if if Rutko gets the double kill there, there might be something in it for this round. Oh. Uh, as Midgard oh. again! Midgard keeps going! He's had two clutch attempts, but none of them completed. And this time, he is going to be. He's going to, I think, go for the kit you mentioned. He's going to run over towards heaven. He has to make noise. He is going to get out of the window. Oscar has the read. Midgard. Sort of hoping he was playing monster back in the bomb site, but Midgard again for a third time in about ten rounds or five rounds even. He doesn't complete the clutch. He's made it close every time though. Yeah, and they're pretty pressure. If on I'm him. Midgard, then I have to be feeling a little bit frustrated that I've you know I've made ridiculous things happen in the server time and time again, but it just never goes my way. And you know, in terms of the actual you know contribution in the rifle rounds, he's been there. You know, maybe not, you know, the biggest fragger, but he's been contributing. So maybe if I am Midgard, I'm beginning to look big, a little bit frustrated at my team, maybe at myself, for not being able to put together some of these rounds. Because like, time and time again, it's been so damn close. And this time, Jane opened things up. Palm 1 Scout, we've seen it do things before, but this time we'll just take the one before it departs this earthly world. Finn and Midgard, <laughs> Eagles against Rifles. A kill here would be a blessing, but anything other than that, I think is just going to be expected. And a bit of an interesting choice, going for a force buy on the CT side of Overpass. Overpass, one of the very few maps where it barely ever works, Finn. I mean, it's a good shot. It's a bit of a bummer it takes to be the third to even take down Oscar. Tough to reset the Deagle afterwards. Uh, we have Midgard <laughs> again in a 1v3. If you're playing along at home, um, Take a shot every time Midgard is in a clutch situation. <laughs> you won't make it to uh, game three of today as Joey smacks him down the stairs. Um, just great start. I mean, Royals not faltering at all, playing that pretty, pretty much as good as you can. As you can. And that's the thing about Overpass Force Mice on the CT side. Everything is so big, so wide, you don't. You rarely see a win on the CT side force. Yeah, and I remember Royals now 3 for 3 in pistols and conversions, and now sprinting straight into the B site. I mean, a couple pieces of utilities to slow them down. This round three should be all but a guarantee. Indeed. No one even here to receive. Just palm one from heaven. Trying to land a dink. In fact, it's only a single point of damage that's been done so far. This USB begins connecting, but palm one will fall before it gets a kill. And uh, yeah, this is, this is a third. Just to clean up here in the monster. Jane more than happy to farm up a three piece. And the economy of depressed royals, too, is just growing, swelling. He's got a 4K, mm -hmm. Jane. That's... He's vibing. He's vibing. I thought Joey with a Mac 10 might have uh, might have been a bit of the uh, Shadow Wizard money gang. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but 
But as of yet, the only spell that Royals have casted is the Pissed Around Wind spell. They have had enough mana for every single round thus far in the pistols. Uh, it's been pretty ridiculous. Uh, as we mentioned, right, let's start this gun round. Rudko spoke to him outside uh, as his coach was also seconding it. They were looking for eight rounds on the CT side. Well, they have one to spare before you can get there. So that is not wow, they wanted to start that round out. Yeah. from Jay and Palman out of the round. And Rudko also not getting his spray. Somehow after this break, I had a feeling Raptors were going to come back swinging. But it's Royals that just continue where they left off. I mean, they looked like they're in control. Divine Right of Kings maybe powering them towards this victory. I mean, Jane and Swaggy both were in almost impossible situations, but they're clearly just the walking wounded. And Raptors, they're barely walking at all. Finn, Eagle, just two players left standing. This has to be a save in a scenario like this. You cannot contest with the rounds. But Split also across the map, they look like they want to fight for this. And I mean, having to what, triple up to make it valuable? It's not what you love to see pretty much ever. Plant down on the A site, and I think these two remaining Raptors players need to think about how to best at least deal some damage. I'm just desperately trying to stay alive. We have an Igor sandwich, and we haven't seen much from Igor. I mean, he's been just solid, but in most of the Raptors game, most of the games that they have been winning, uh, or have been dominantly winning, we usually saw Igor, Igor go for that being a top performer on overpass, he is missing. Zero and four, the Metroid that drives across overpass every time, maybe he's in there. and Maybe he can get at the right <laughs> station. Because for now, he's paying a fare and he ain't even got a seat yet. So, Royals, four zero. It's gonna be five zero most likely. It's just the Eagles again. I mean, this is exactly how we saw Anubis start out right though. Yeah. I mean, going up to 5 0, Raptors build into it afterwards. You know, I'm not a superstitious man, but maybe there's something in the water here. Finn posting a frag there onto Oscar, but that's going to be stopped in its tracks. Oh, what is push. that timing? Good god, Midgard. Got an AK in his hands now, and a chance to come up clutch. Not able to get anything going off the back of it now, and it uh, looks like most of the craziness in this round. I tell a lie, that's bomb drop. AK in the hands of oh. one. Palm with the flank as well. Means that Swaggy has a single point of HP. Bomb drop on the ground, and two heads to find. What a stunning moment to do get a Force by win, right? As I say, oh, Force by win's near impossible on the CT side on this map. They will prove me wrong, the Coster Jink. Jinx yet again rears its ugly head, but Swaggy, ju already just a minute left. I mean, well, I say just, it's like a minute left. There's so much time. That round went over way too quickly. Swaggy does not have the bomb. They don't know he's here. I don't think they do. Well, they have a sliding inclination. <laughs> it's Palman after the great Deagle shot. And we hear some come ons and some yes. Rain through in its what track. Is what is that timing? Good God. Board. Got an AK Doubling in his hands and a chance to up clutch. Unsettling the defense and then Igor just. Oh, Jay, and that's a frustrating kill. Mm, I'd be tilted if I were him, I can tell you that much now. Yeah. I mean, Raptor is doing one better than they did on the last map. And remember, they said they wanted to get eight on the CT side. Well, it's still a possibility now. Uh, economy getting lower and lower for the Royals as well. So a break here would make it so much easier. But T Raptors up for success. Of course, they just have to finally get aggressive. Risky from Rutko. May yet catch the Royals unawares, but uh, Palmon going down not the way they want to start this off. This duel in Fountains is bloody chaotic, but when the just settles, it does look like Royals have the lead. Oh, and a late wide oh. swing. Jane is super ready for it, though. Not going to get jiggied twice in a row. And two versus four. It's. Again, we see a clutch round really amount to nothing afterwards because the money's going to be not good, TM, for for the Raptors after this. I mean, yeah, you got Palman with the possibility of buying an AWP swaggy. Oh, let's take those rays. Igor not finding more than one ping. Again, they have a member walking on one HP. Midgard on the M4A4. Another 1v3 for Midgard. Pour your glass. And let's see if we can get a toast on Midgard this time. The Icelandic player coming to the UK lands. 
not being that shot on the first in order to get tagged out super low. Jay and a great triple kill. This time the full house is for Ping and Jay and they will win this hand five to one. Yeah, that they are. Unfortunately, the cards just seem to never fall in the favor of Raptors EC. It feels like every scenario with Depressed Royals have such a huge advantage in it. And uh, even if Midgard is served up these clutch scenarios time and time again, then I think finding less and less Pachace in them every time. Unfortunately, in that 1v3, just not able to really even get started. A couple of players were low. I think there's a possibility if you can get some space into the site. But as it stands, then evidently Raptors call a pause. They try and regroup. Their economy in a bit of a weird space as well. They can probably get rifles through for most of them. But Retco on three grand, Finn on much the same. It's not perfect. It's not particularly pretty. And it looks like they've elected to go for a hero rifle onto Eager and Palm. Coach of Raptors mentioned outside that this overpass game really was going to be a game between their two sort of star opera, star players in Palman and Jayen. It is very clear who is winning that fight currently. Jayen 12 and 2, Palman 3 and 5. He's had some impact in the one round that they won, so instantly you see that as well, right? Palman having impact one round, instantly a W. But for now, it's 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 not looking good for Raptors. Eight is already impossible, but this T side's got to be massive for Raptors already if they want to take it through a third map. Yeah, I got to agree with you there. I don't think there's much chance for Raptors to save this in any reasonable oh. regard. Yeah, missing the spray as well. That's ugly. Six teams of guarantee here. We saw a tight half of four, of course, but this time it feels a lot less like the unfortunate nothing's got going. <laughs> Yeah, this is crazy. 15 and 2. Jane is running the server Jesus. right now. Actual, like, lobby admin kind of impact. <laughs> no one can touch him right now, and that is for good reason. I mean, no quieter in the beginning map, yeah. but here, like... No clip, god mode, no recoil, uh, extra damage bullets. He's He's been having everything. The NVIDIA setting. No, <laughs> no, one's, no one's running the NVIDIA settings. Uh funky stuff that we had I think especially at a LAN if you do that someone will come behind you <laughs> and <laughs> will slap your ass give, yeah will give you a slap to the back of the head like mate <laughs> this is a <laughs> LAN <laughs> not working here as Jane another kill just give it all to him 16 and 2 a KD of 8 ah <laughs> I mean there's not really much you can say about this he's got 12 grand in the bank as you mentioned a KD of 8 16 frags in only 7 rounds his KPR is like 2.2. He's kind of just doing the Lord's work. That's very quick maths. Jeez. I mean, I, I'm, I'm estimating. Yeah, that's fair. But so, rifles out now for Raptors EC. Maybe again a chance. They struggle before, and this is quick towards B. No presence taken on any other side of the map, and Retco posts a oh. frag. Swaggy taken down. An advantage start here for Raptors, but they've lost this before. Yeah, double up setup. Uh, as Palmer is also doing AWP, taking away just for the peak that Midgard was having. Midgard deciding not wanting to be in clutches anymore. He'll take early initiative. Oscar catching a good nade, and there's one more. Lovely Igor. Uh, that's a whiff on the nade. Uh, just bonked it against the wall next to him. Uh, Rutko with that AWP. He starts to step up a bit. Igor going for the wide swing, finally finding some success. If Igor gets going. It really doesn't matter what the score is right now. Yeah, it um, finally is going to be a second round here. Yeah. Took them a little while, and again, it is a little bit more individual than I'd like, but at the end of the day, it was also a good read too. You know, five players go towards that B site, and uh, it is stacked. It is an aggressive push from Retco to receive it, and they are able to capitalize off the back of it. So, great from Raptors. They're going to need to repeat it, though, and they're going to need to do it four more times realistically. They said they wanted yeah. uh, eight on the CT half. Obviously, an impossibility now. Six does seem like a necessity, however. And uh, it's, again, heavy pressure towards the B site, but this time only two players left to receive. I hope that sneeze didn't get caught on, on the back. I got to sneeze again, but... <laughs> well, I'm apparently <laughs> allergic to Raptors winning rounds, so that's good news. Um, I, th I think all the sneezes are done for now. The whole and the end oh, monster, oh, oh, oh. Igor. Two and a half kills for him. And then Midgard activates. But Swaggy, that's a quick response. Keeping at least a two versus three ready. But that is suddenly way better. You have Igorek and Midgard both stepping up in the early round. And USP Palman somehow does not convert the kill on Swaggy. There is still a nade. There is still a molly. Uh, we are not seeing them connect. 
As opposed to the backside, Jayen is still on full HP, though. That's always a threat. This can still go so wrong. Is that Swaggy with a great tap oh. onto Heaven? Palman misses his first opportunity. Swaggy is there with a double kill. I was going to highlight Jayen, but it's Swaggy with the triple. Even though he got dinked in his first fight, 7-2. to two. Oh. Near in unavoidable. Finn oh. doesn't check the right angle. They both team up. Shoulder to shoulder, Jayen, this time only finding one round, but that, or one kill, but that one kill, supporting, supported by Swaggy, that's just a solid 7 Wasn't that like a 2 on 4 at one point? Yep. That's uh, 2 on 3. 2 on 3. Yeah, still. Yeah, very, very short, it was a 2 on yeah. 3. It was a trade. A so clean 2 on 3. Not what you love to see from Raptors, unfortunately, just not really able to get consecutive rounds on the board. You know, they've been able to post a couple when it does get these rifle on rifles, and the... This time, Eagle with the MP9 wants to get in close, wants to get in the mix, but uh, no one really here to receive a long range duel. And hopefully, win that oh, out. Doesn't matter because the stereo frags <laughs> in the connector. Five players full. Numbers advantage again for Raptors. Igor busting open the door with that SMG, trying to get through. Uh, and he will get through, converting those equal trades into the advantage for the Raptors. Yet again, two versus four. This time, Joey and Oscar, two new protagonists in this clutch as the rap oh. Jesus that that crosshair placement's absolutely spot on as there is one player in long still waiting for the long push this is such a weird two versus two Igor is going to get caught again a 2v3 this would be twice in a row that Raptors lose this. This would be heartbreaking. This would be essentially the game if they end up losing this. So Finn the pressure of the world in his shoulders has to come out clutch from this long position, position. not checked for the first one and is able to just disengage Pretty much picture perfect now and can wrap now back through bathrooms and indeed fake the retreat as we're seeing now. Joey has the information of where Finn was, of course, but decides to take it through B. Yeah, perfect play for the scenario. Bomb plant guaranteed. Oh, he's faking too. Ooh. All right. It's a bit of mind games here, a bit of Rubik's Cubes. But it's Finn, like he matches all the colors. Three to seven. It's going to be a five seven square line on the CT side of Overpass. Best case scenario as well. Best case scenario, yeah. Just <laughs> put it in as fact, but yeah, best case scenario indeed. Um, and I want to highlight that retake, right? That 3v2. They had so much util, and they threw it all before they had any info. Right? You have that spot left side of Monster. You have Monster itself, short even. All the smokes and nades just... I think they just underestimated the Which in my opinion, kind of disappointing because go peek out wide. If Palmy just kept his nade, that's an easy kill onto Swaggy. Rutko and Palman now do get the opening kill finally again, but it just hasn't meant anything. No, it feels like they're at like 50-50, 4v5 conversion rate right now. Yeah. And that's not that's what you should ever see seeing. Well, barely 50-50. Yeah, I mean, I'd love to see what the stats are maybe after the game. Either way, Raptors are very aware that it is not what they need. But uh, again, being in that scenario, surely this is one they can add to the Victorious Tally. Two MP9s going to be their main concessions, and of course, no AWP to challenge Jane, who has been, you know, unchallenged. 19 and 4, and uh, four. yeah, back into even Steven scenario. Oscar flattens Palm 1, who has really Great. struggled throughout Overpass. A battle between the two AWPers this game was fun as, and uh, I mean, one of them is 16 frags deeper than the other. <laughs> Peeking into Retco, both wow, running and gunning, Oscar. but Oscar lands the headshot in the end. Three on three, retake. Finn's just there to defend. Oh! That is such a sick spray on all three. And that's some deserving cheers. I was, I jumped up there because I really thought we were going to see eight for the Royals. But buckle in, boys. There is a game here. As uh, four to seven, that was such a good round. Finally, someone on the Raptor side stepping up. We have had Jay and we've had Swaggy, we've had Oscar. All players, pretty much from Royals, have had their round, round deciding moments. From Raptors, we didn't really see it. Now Finn, getting that confidence in the first one to get to double digits for uh, the dinosaurs. Yeah, it takes them a while to get there, but they do it in the end. Palm one, good for oh, the ones, but only nice. the one. Last round of the half into these Tech Nines. Surely it should be a gimme round for Raptors. Finn continues his dominance. The AK oh. spray, perfect. Picture perfect. Ping's able to get the final blow there. AK picks up. There's a shot here if Eagle's not too careful, oh, but yeah, with the MP9, the kill comes through.
It's not pretty from the Raptors. Five and seven is not what they would have loved to have, but considering how far down they were at one point, then they'll take it. Yeah, they're going to be pretty all right. You have uh, the whole support crew of Jay and all performing pretty much equally as well uh, as the other. So just overall, this is... I'm, I'm like happily surprised about how well Royals are playing. I was expecting maybe like one or two of them to struggle. Not necessarily a player, but just with the way, yeah. Just with the way they have been playing. Of course, they have JN carrying the boatload of the way, being the Sherpa on this Himalayan climb. And now JN on the pistol. Pissed around. Will we see a 4x4? Four four? Uh, I've got a feeling we will, yeah. Jane going to be tested early on in this bathroom area. Ooh. But uh, it's uh, Brett. Coe's good for the one. Winning out the spam battle. Close range with the Julie is not something you see every day. And pushing in deeper now. Doesn't spot the player oh who's no. into the water position. Oscar managed oh, to double oh, up. No. Oscar managed to triple up. Making miracles happen. And still players left on the chopping block. Palm will be dispatched by Jane. Another frag posted to that particular gargantuan tally. Finn has clutched up for four, but three players left to find two lit. There's just so much to do. So many guns to try and overcome. And without the knowledge, without any utility, Ice Ace in these duels is going to be nigh on impossible oh finds. God. One, but no kill. Jane dispatches him. And yeah, as we said, four for four in terms of pistols. Jane has 22 frags. What more can we say? This Oscar is driving on the Autobahn. <laughs> 300 kilometers an hour. Uh, trying to chase down Jane in terms of kills. Gee, I mean, you started off so well. That is, I think that, I think if that w would have been, like, very theoretical. But imagine that being, like, the first pistol round of this entire best of three. I think at that point, Raptors are going to play it a bit safer because you have a two and a half man advantage. There was already a dink or a goosh and a double kill. They get that advantage, they just... Run straight in, headless chickens, and they eventually lose all their heads. It's Retco fighting with a deagle shot. But 3v5, SG, deagles, somehow they get a second. Already pretty good damage for what they invested in. You know, a couple of greater pistols. You need at least one more, though. Yeah, you would love more. You do have an M4 now onto a Retco. You've got, you know, firearms in everyone's hands. It seems. Basically a guarantee that they get a kill. What a timing from paying a free kill. Midgard knocks him on his back though. Back into contention is this round two on two weapons. More or less even. I think the main disadvantage is it has to be Midgard. No armor. It's going to be absolutely just flattened if Joey comes and makes that contact. Uh, Penguin's got to find a kill guaranteed there. So I think Raptors are going to be pretty happy about the fact that he was able to find Igor. Uh, as Igor was already the one on low HP. So a two versus two, clean now. It is set up. Midgard has the push from Joey coming closer. And they are getting close range. One versus one. The setup, the assist. It is lifted into the penalty box. Who can put the header into the goal? It's going to be Oscar. Second time of asking. Resetting the spray. Taking his time. And the sharpness just isn't there. Raptors are, uh, th their claws are dull at this point. It's a tricky scenario at that point. You're known 30 seconds left in the round. You have no ability to commit yeah. over to A. And you know, with those quick CT rotations, you know for a fact that Oscar's gonna be somewhere in the site. You have to find an isolation somehow, but if you, cause you again are so low on time, you don't really have the time to slow clear every angle. So just have to hope and pray. And this time the prayers are not answered. Swaggy, the only player who feels like who is being in fact, the tool Oscar, lovely to kill in the short water position. Two players across the map split. Ten rounds for the Royal teams, all but guaranteed. It's going to have to be Retco and Finn to try and find something here. There's no time for a save. It's damage around. That's what they're playing for. But the odds of that, they're both slipping further out. and further or lower. Yeah, they're also both spread out. Right? You have Finn on this end of the map. Not even getting anything. Retco in a 1v4. No bomb. No teammates, no money, no <laughs> Um Yeah, this is uh, far, far away. The Republic of Gamers, but Rutko is now only a single emperor on a fallen kingdom of some fossils because these raptors, they're not moving anymore. Royals. 10 to 5. Doubling it up, the crown sitting neatly on their head.
Hard to disagree with that. I mean, it does look gold given at this point. Just nothing seems like it can go against them. Raptors, they have no money. They're going to have to just go through maybe upgraded pistols here to give this round a little bit more punch. But they're calling attack here exactly what you need to see. To be honest, I'm not even sure how they managed to save one third attack through. But that's kind of how it's going to end up being as well. There's just so much left to do. There's just so much for them left to do. And unfortunately, Tech 9's Eagles, they're not quite confident that they can do it. Instead, you know, momentum, firepower, economy, every advantage that you could ask for is in the side of the Royals. Of course, the round lead too. Going to be a massive differential. So Eco here, almost guarantee a gimme round for the Royals. That brings them up to 11. One last shot against 12. And they have realistically one rifle separating them from losing this game, dropping into the Inter tournament. Yeah, in, in, in terms of money, it's, it's the Royals aren't sitting all too wide, but then we have Jay and again getting a double kill. He's on 25 in 15 rounds, well, 16 rounds now. And we're already in the middle oh, of the 16th. Labors. Swaggy, wow, that's power in numbers. And his crosshair trying to check all three, not getting a single kill on one. This flank, oh, Palmer, he's not looking at the correct behind. And that is a ridiculous kill, ping. Taking down two, and now we have Rudko Ping. Can go for another triple kill here, and he will. Another triple head shot. A woo from Ping. Silencing the arena as the quietness of these playoffs is pretty deafening. I mean, I'm used to all constant shouting, but this is focus. 5 to 11. I don't think we're going to see many more rounds of overpass. I think we're seeing many more rounds of Raptors, to be honest. Yeah. But they don't have much more left to go. I think their tank is running on dry. This is their final hurrah. All the bells and whistles finally coming out. But a peeking into the orb. Yeah, Eagle gets flattened. The repress Royals. I think topples one of the final dynamos. Uh, dominoes here, sorry. <laughs> dynamos. Dynamite? Well, maybe we can see some dynamite from Raptors. Some explosions, but... This is just Royals being the asteroid. As though Rutko and Finn do fight back a bit. You said you said the Raptors were running on empty. I just thought, well, only solution is squish yourself down and fill your tank with it. But that's a stupid reference. <laughs> <laughs> because it's because they're Raptors. Fossil fuel. Oh, oh yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> But they can't all be bangers. I mean, you didn't. Uh, oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> they can't all, but you'll miss the opportunity to say bangers True. if you don't. Uh, and I know bangers. No, it's whatever. Miss 100% <laughs> of the shots you don't take. Exactly. Well, or you, you don't even take any shots, and Raptors. Well, Raptors have been pre pretty much missing every shot. Yeah, we'll see if uh, Retco pushing down the long side can shoot back. Joey for the peak, blinded significantly. Oh, yeah, no course. chance for it. Jane's there on the orb, running the lobby right now. Two players still alive for the Raptors, and that is going to be decreasing shortly. Good Finn's good for the one, and the split onto the site does mean that a plant should be a possibility. Jane has not yet been unseated, though, and though smoke's off, that hasn't stopped this player in the past. A push through the smoke. No one's looking for it, but the Optimus plant won't be allowed to be interrupted. A shot on the leg, but there's still low HP. Palm 1 has to clutch. Has to come up to use. Aggressive. Damn aggressive. Oh. Oh, but Palm 1's able to stabilize onto the second. Raptors EC, by the skin of their teeth, are able to survive for another round, but still five the difference. Yeah, saving. Patching at least one hole in this sinking boat. And they're going to need to find a whole lot more wood to continue it on, but they've like, it's been pretty casual for the way Rap, Rap, well, Worlds have been playing. Uh, Jay and, of course, have been performing great, but all these rounds have been gotten decently close, right? Every time they've been, we've seen like three or two alive. If you look at the kill count, right, it's not looking like Raptors only have six rounds. You have Finn on 16, Rocco on 13. They have been getting the kills. This is the last buy from Depressed Royals. So, for example, Raptors win. It. It's going to be 7-11. Uh, nice tank station, by the way. But it's going to be 7-11. It's going to be 9-11 to after like the, all, all the ecos have been done, if everything, of course, goes correctly. So there might be something still. I'm trying to hype it up. I'm really hoping for a close game. Yeah, might be a far off prospect right now. Of course, the economy of Raptors is still incredibly brittle. Basically, no money saved up. Midgard, the only one with any sort of savers, and even that is uh, tenuous at best. 
The same could be said of the Royals, though, of course. We've just heard about how they're not looking too clean okay. either. And Swaggy, the first to fall, another stain onto the honor of the Royals. That purple that they often wear, now stained with a shade of red. But still, plenty left to do. 45 seconds left on the round. It looks like it's grouping up for a B hit. Just the one defaulter or lurker, sorry, of Palm 1 who can challenge towards A. Yeah, Raptors taking their time. Uh, they shouldn't take too much time because there is a possibility, even though Swag is taking down, a uh, little thing called time is going to be uh, not in your favor. As then Rutko goes down, that means all the rotates can come in quite fast. It's 14 seconds. Is the bomb even getting planted? I would imagine so, yeah, there it is. it is. So it is a decent setup. 4v4, clean retake. To press Royals, they're still deciding on if they want to go for this. I think they're lining up. They have a whole bunch of util. They have one defuse kit on Oscar. This could be fire. It's into the site now. Ping one, swinging out from that dumpster position and seeing many players Great not able flash. to find one. Finn! Oh. Finn! Wow. Finn again with a triple kill. His third triple. A triple in triples. How much more do you want me to say triple? <laughs> As... Uh, that's a lovely hold. Raptors do indeed go for it. I, I, I un or Royals, I should say. Uh, go for the retake. I don't know if I'm a fan of that one. Well, I am a fan, as in it's more fun to see yeah. a nice triple but If you're fin. trying to win, though. Yeah. I mean, you you definitely, your James, would have been way on the other end of the map already. Since that bomb got mounted. But we now got the full USPs. Raptors are slowly getting close, and it's Finn stepping up. Yeah, a couple P250s is going to be the only wrinkle oh. here. Midgard going to be tested here and sees all five. Only good for the one. That's an AK dropped over. Not really what you want to see there. You kind of need at least a double to make this round still as an advantage here. So Depress Royals have something here. Still, you know, winning the round here, a far cry off. But if it did, it would be an absolute unmitigated disaster for the Raptors EC. They've already made this bed, this round differential. They have to fight back. And now they must lie in it. But if they allow bed bugs like this to creep oh, in, no. then... Yeah, not checking. It oh, has to be a turn from Igor. Nicely stabilized, but it didn't have to be that tricky. This USP gets a line up, but not the kill. Ping's AK, however, drops over. Oh, Good no. for the double kill. We're into a 2-on-2. Two two. Post one at least for Raptors EC. And of course, no armor on the surviving members of the Royals. Wrapping long from Bank. When do you read this? Jayen going silent. And he has that James Bond pistol. Can he stay under the cover of un... Be known play. He does get the headshot on the finish. So one versus one. The AK misses the initial spray from Palman. And now everything's going to get picked up by Jay and a nade. An AK. Still no armor and no defuse kit. This should be a Palman win. If he plays everything normal, there you go. Hitting the first bullet. And as soon as you hit that, that fight is settled. The money on the T side still okay. Not good. Not great. Okay. They do get an op. This is pretty much the first full buy round with both teams on an op we've seen, I think, this entire game. Yeah, I think you're right and there. And what a point. Uh, I mean, it's nice, obviously, getting those four frags for the Raptors off those USPs. That round should never have been that close. But at the end of the day, Raptors EC only have really one round to lose. So the economy damage doesn't matter too much. They still will be able to buy in the next round no matter what. They would obviously really rather not there will be some concessions. I believe their loss bonus has shrunk significantly in $850 on Igor. Only 100 on Retco, Oof. not what you'd love to see. Early damage onto Oscar and Jane. Lovely nade to force them off the boost. Yeah, that's that's a lot of damage. Jayen maybe being prevented his 30th kill, by the way, in round number 20. Um, have have we seen other performances this good already? I don't think we've had, we've seen some amazing performances, but 30 kills in 20 rounds. I think this for now maybe it wasn't like a lower group matchup where we had one guy popping off, but this is a pretty ridiculous game. I mean, That's far from Jayen. There's no two ways about it. He's just went off, and uh, because of that firepower, that's why Royals do have their lead. It is a shrinking one, though. Hopefully they're not on a sinking ship for their own sakes. Three rounds now the difference, and uh, if the economy breaks, that could yet be compounded. Pretty much no pressure towards this B-side. Only Midgar's going to be sent as a feeler. Try and get some information. Three players there. If that info goes through, it means that it's going to be an acceleration onto A. Such little util. I mean, Midgar can just get this info for free. I mean, 
The wide swing for Ping, this is gonna be his his death surety. I mean, yes, yeah, never taking that angle. Swing in the meantime, finding Rutko on the A bomb side. Palman is the first one to return fire, but they realize that there's three players on the B bomb side. A is open for business. And we have the four versus three settled in. The four versus four did get won by Raptors. Everyone came from the same directions as this time. It's gonna be another 4K needed, not from Finn this time. Well, maybe it all has to be Finn in another one. V3 again. Raptors are being forced into these good situations, oh. and the trade is wonderful. They go through both sides of the truck, like the parking space lines, and they are parking themselves on 12. Yeah, I mean the pincer formation comes through onto Finn. Unfortunately, he does succumb to the poisons. It's just incredibly tricky for him in a scenario like that to isolate both fights, but the Scorpion of the Royals does allow the round to come through. 12 now, five chances for them to close this out in regulation. Five chances for them to send four. Their, right? in regulation to close it out. It's still four rounds. Well, yeah, it's going to a yeah. T. You're right, you're right, you're right. I can't do maths. <laughs> <laughs> I got it right one time. I have to get it wrong. You do know, have the time. outfit of the most swaggy math professor. <laughs> like, Thank that you. Is, that is true. So, again, Jayan on the boost. No Nate this time. It's just a dry peak. Come on, guys. You just can't. I mean, that's just frustrating. That is legit just frustrating. In a round like this, I know you don't have a lot of util, but there is, there are so many amazing flashbangs you can throw towards that short position that always take care of that boost position. And knowing Jayan, he's probably just going to pull the trigger. That was his 30th kill. Yeah, 30 what? kills, 21 rounds, just it's unstoppable. No, there's no two ways about it. Numbers advantage here for the Fresh Royals. This seems like their round to win, and the yeah, Edward Joey peeking out into that monster position. Only good for the one, but able to keep the advantage at least for now. Oscar does much the same. One for one trades, always going to favor the defenders, and that's not even one for one. Finn has been in so many clutch scenarios before, has Whoa. to do it again. That's one. Ping hits the floor, Oy. peek into the AWP, is punished. Jane. 31 frags and depressed Royals, a 2-0, allowing them to continue in the main tournament. 156 ADR. I was just talking about how Midgard and Igor uh, dropped around 130 a couple of games earlier. I think Jan may have heard us through the curtains behind me and thought, well, I can do maybe one or two better than that. What an amazing performance from the opera. And the thing is, he slowed down. He got 31 frags, and he slowed down near the end of the game. He was on, on 20 frags at halftime. He was playing a ridiculous game. And he just prevented every single... Like, all the mid-rounds pretty much always had a disadvantage for Raptors, right? We saw so many 2v3s, 2v4s, right? We've had countless 1 versus 3 situations. If it's, it's just Jayen getting that extra frag. It's... Oscar staying alive for one more fight. It's Ping going for such a flank. And you just never really have... If it's all 1v2s, Raptors are winning two more rounds there. Yeah, and I want to you know, bring our minds back to you know, the beginning of this map, you know, where we were told that it would be decided in a battle between the orbs. Palm 1, I mean, essentially invisible, unfortunately, throughout the entire overpass. Yeah. There he was a never a time one. we were saying his name. And unfortunately... We need to have more than that. We need to have some impact. We need to have some value, some pizzazz. Yeah. And on the other side of things, I mean, then what more can we say? So, yeah, yeah that's a huge differential, unfortunately, between these two sides. And uh, that does mean that we will not be seeing Raptors anymore in the main tournament. Yeah, it was uh, a plain chicken and rice dinner for, uh, for the Raptors. And Royals were, well, eating like kings. Grapes and everything. Uh, Jay and Cooked. And he cooked well. I mean, 31. It's, it's, it's 31 is ridiculous. I mean, in, in an overpass game where we talked about it, right? R Raptors were looking for eight rounds on the CT side. Well, that got prevented and some. Right? It's 5-7 seven, seven for them. And at some point, you're looking at it like, okay, yeah, they break the CT economy. And one thing that I'm just so... I'm, I really love the Raptors guys. And I hate being like accosted at, oh, well, I have all the signs mm. from... Twice. They just walk into short, into the boost. They throw a nade in the round, in the middle round. They win it, and then just around afterwards, it's eight eleven. You just walk into it. I mean that. It's it's so 
that such a simple play goes wrong, it just hurts me to my core. Yeah, I think that kind of is maybe symptomatic of you know some of the tilt coming into that in those later stages of the game. Yeah. Doesn't help as well that I don't believe they want a single pistol all throughout that. Yep. It's just a couple of errors compounding. Oscar it. A triple kill the pistol. Yep. Ping a triple kill the pistol. Yep. I think Jay in the first one yep. got a triple kill the pistol. They got destroyed in pistols. As uh, I think Royals, I, I did hear someone, I don't know if it was Swaggy tweeting it. I have a feeling it was when, when the whole change happened that Swaggy was like, oh yeah, I'm going to just like prac pistols a month before <laughs> Epic. I don't know if it was him tweeting it. I might might have got my facts wrong here, but uh, I think, I mean, especially for a tournament like Epic, it would be a pretty good idea to just I, I, only we can't argue pistols. with the results, can we? Yeah, it gives you, it gives you, it gives you four rounds at least, and... Also, right, Raptors, Raptors gonna go on to like, going on to the CT force by didn't really like it. They're gonna be disappointed in themselves. I'm a bit disappointed in them, but still, they tried fighting. Royals was a size too big for them. The Kings take down the dinosaurs, and they will go through into the next lower bracket matchup. Next up, we're gonna get an upper bracket semifinal TLR versus Coalesce. I'm pretty sure that will be the matchup costed by Timo and Index. Spectreon, you will see him on the Overwatch stream, and I'll be on stage in a couple of hours. So see you guys when we're there. Third game, or second game of the day. It's gonna come up right soon. See you there. Hi guys, Mezzi here. I play Counter Strike for Team Vitality, where I recently uh, won Blast Fall and World Finals. And uh, just like you guys, I really loved Epic Land. I first started playing uh, Epic Land at the beginning of my career, where it was a great experience for me. Loved, loved playing at the Epic Lands. Great atmosphere. Great to meet new people, and also, just like you, starting out your career, and uh, you never know what can happen. Everyone needs to start. Somewhere.
final. Hell yeah. I'm ready. I'm excited. The stage is set. Who's going to let that go? Oh! No! What is that? It all comes down to the next three maps of Counter-Strike. All right. Okay. And he can't believe it.